They'll remain open to you. The Trans Canada slow from Cavendish to Cary, working well in southbound Laurentian Boulevard, very heavy. If you're humming, I can't get no satisfaction, try a waterbed from Lido Nacional and wake up singing another tune. Try a helicopter. Oh, that would be much better, wouldn't it? Or a Cessna. 849. It's 11 minutes before... Nine. Thanks. It's, 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 I don't know what to say about it. It's... You know, it, it's just so crazy that, you know, what, what can you say? I, I don't know what you can say. W- why do we live here? You can say, oi, 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 oi. I don't know what else to say. Holy wow. Holy wow. Uh, we've got requests coming up at 9 o'clock, and uh, I want to give away some movie passes. Uh, so if you'd like to call me at 790-0977, let me put some kind of uh, cheer into your day. Let me uh, clear these phone lines here. We've got to party tonight at L'Esprit from 9 to 11 o'clock at Club L'Esprit. Uh, there'll be, you know, beverages, snacks, and, and prizes and that kind of thing. And then at about 11.30, we're all going to wander over to the Faubourg uh, for the presentation of uh, the movie called Flatliners, starring Kiefer Sutherland, Julia Roberts, and Kevin Bacon. If you'd like to uh, be there, uh, phone me and I'll give you movie passes. And because it's been so mad this morning, uh, we won't even make you do anything goofy, all right? Uh, we've also got uh, requests coming up at uh, 9, as I mentioned. We're going to play the CTA Cine game one more time before uh, 10 o'clock this morning. And before 10 o'clock this morning, I've also got some movie passes to give away. Uh, and we'll just uh, try and get it all in, okay? Uh, 26 degrees downtown, bright sunshine today, tomorrow. Some showers on Sunday, but uh, it basically is a pretty nice weekend. The outlook for Sunday is cloudy with a few showers and a high near 27. Uh, today with a high near 30 is exactly uh, the same forecast for tomorrow. High near 30 again with uh, more sunny skies. So it's a pretty good forecast to... That's the good news, I suppose. It's a 10 to 9. John Banks wears his Video Center hat. Today, as we talk to him about a brand new product addition to the Video Center, Canon Video Cameras. Before 9 o'clock, I, I don't even know what to do here because uh, I uh, I don't know what's uh, what's uh, going on. Hello. Hello. Uh, Andrew? Yeah. Hi. Okay, I thought it might be you. Uh, Andrew Carter is uh, is roaming around with a roaming band of uh, vigilantes uh, somewhere. Yeah, well, we've got uh, we've got the uh, vi- the so-called vigilantes, the uh, Chattagay residents, who are very upset about the closure of the Mercier Bridge. We were moving at about 13 kilometers per hour along the 132 westbound, uh, uh, just west of the Champlain Bridge. Now we're at a complete standstill. Uh, traffic is not moving. Some of the uh, protesters are out of their cars. They're wearing uh, masks over their faces, which seems... Uh, a little bit silly to me in light of the fact that they didn't cover up their license plates. Mm-hmm. So they're covering up their faces, but they're driving around with cars, you know, yeah. can be easily tracked. But in any case, uh, I think there's a lot of short fuses around here on both sides, people who were stuck in traffic and people who were blocking the traffic. And you're basically going nowhere on the 132 westbound now. I think they've managed to block, uh, pretty well block off the service road as well. What, what have they done? And he just, like, stopped the cars in the middle of the road and got... Yeah, they started, they started off by moving very slowly along the 132 westbound, and uh, they gradually just came to a complete stop and were about uh, 500 yards maybe from the uh, Boulevard Rivar exit and uh, not moving at all. Wait, there's some movement now, some, a little bit of movement, but I don't, uh, I don't know if that's going to last for any period of time. Are, are, are people trying to go around? Are there people driving on the shoulder? Uh, it's not possible to with this area because uh, the shoulders are not thick enough. The shoulders are just not uh, are not wide enough and uh, nobody can pass at all. Okay, we hear uh, more horns now in the background. Are those uh, the protesters? Those are the protesters. Those are the protesters. And, uh, and I guess in the background now we're hearing uh, a big truck starting to blow the horn and... Uh, for the most part, the protesters are up at the front of the line where I am, and further back are the regular Joes who are stuck in traffic. And has anybody made a move for them, uh, Andrew? Has Nobody's any... made a move. Or there hasn't been any kind of a any kind of a violent uh, outbreak at all yet. But I wouldn't be surprised that if it happens before too long. You, where are you exactly? One thirty-two westbound. One thirty-two westbound, just a few yards from the Boulevard Rivar exit. From Rivar, okay. So that's between. Uh, that's just past Rome. All right. And is it backed up past Rome? Can you see? I can't see, but I imagine it would be. All right. Thank you very much. Andrew is uh, keep in touch with us. Uh, we're, we're moving again, Terry, very slowly, but uh, we're moving. Okay. As it uh, changes or if uh, anything does break, uh, give us a call. We'll put you on right away. I will. All right. There's a show's Andrew Carter. Uh, he's uh, the, the, I, If you've just joined us and wondering what the heck is going on, 
Uh, this morning, the uh, Champlain Bridge was closed for a period of time. Uh, protesters from Shattagay moved to close the bridge down this morning, and, uh, and I guess in retaliation of some kind. Police managed to get the, br the bridge open, but now the protesters have uh, ended up on the 132, and uh, Andrew is caught in the thick of it, and uh, there are people with uh, masks driving around, uh, blocking traffic, slowing it down, and at times coming to a complete stop. So it's an unfolding story that's kept you fairly busy, huh, Ted? Yeah, other than that, it's a pretty slow morning, though. Yeah, not much yeah. going on. <laughs> pretty quiet. <laughs> Well, well, I guess maybe I should play a record. Why not? <laughs> I can't believe it. All right, it's uh, coming up to four minutes away from 9 o'clock. Um, I guess you'll be around for a while, huh, Ted? I'll be here for a little while. Okay, keep us uh, posted, will you? Will do. Okay, with uh, Ted in the newsroom and Andrew Carter on the road and Cindy Aikman with the Bell Cellular Callers. We're going to try and keep you on top of it. This is uh, music from the Black Crows on Show Map M. We have the request hour coming up, too. Good morning. Accessible for all those of you out there this morning. And without making you lose your lunch, uh, some of the details have been changed. Okay. All right, I want you to know that right off the top. So this is like a warning? Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go with this morning's true story. This morning's true story. From Stroller, Iowa. Stroller, Stroller Iowa. Iowa. Yes, the story of Ken and Diane Delcy who got married not too long ago oh. and decided they would like to have a child, a little baby to complete sure. their lives. Well, as they tried and tried and tried again, mm -hmm. all their efforts failed. Oh. That's right. Well, finally the couple decided if this wasn't going to work, they would seek medical help, so they did. And it was then that they learned the sad truth, which was that they would never be able to have a baby. Oh, what a shame. I'm sorry. Gee. Shattered, the two considered adoption, but their application was turned down. And Ken and Diane began to give up on hearing the pitter-patter of little feet in their home one day. Until, one night, while they slept, yes. a loud banging stirred them from their slumber. Mm. Armed with a tire iron, Ken went to investigate the source of the noise, and he, he headed out to the, to the garbage bin. Because mm -hmm. that's where the noise was coming from. Mm. And he thought he distinctly heard the sound not only of banging, but of something crying. Well, as he hurriedly threw off the bin's lid, Ken saw him. That's right. What? Inside the garbage bin was a small child. But wait, this wasn't your basic everyday kind of child. What do you mean? Well, the child was okay from the neck down, but his head, however, was that of a cat. <laughs> yes, that's right. The couple's prayer had been answered, sort of. Yeah. They didn't know something like this could have happened, nor did they care as they eagerly took on the pleasurable roles of mother and father to the walking, talking, living, breathing child that they named Claude. Claude. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's right. They named him Claude. They Claude. brought him up just like any other normal parents would bring up a baby. They oh, bought sure. him toys and clothes, uh -huh. took him to the circus, to the park. They even got him a, a, a doll, all kinds of dolls, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, Norman, Norman Rockwell could not have painted a better picture of parental <laughs> bliss. Said Ken, the situation is just perfect. Just okay. perfect. Okay. Said we had wanted our own child, but Claude fills the role just fine for the meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. They're just fine for meow. <laughs> yes, that's right. Our 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 family here uh -huh. all shares our joy. Mm -hmm. All our friends share our joy. He says, truly, our house has been littered oh, with cards from well-wishers ever since yeah. the, the occasion. Uh -huh. And that's this morning. Oh, is that it? Hang on a second. Let me just, I'll take care of this You better here. turn the page. Right, Let me see if there's anything on the, on the other side of the page. And? Our house has been littered. <laughs> littered. Ever since the occasion. Yes. We couldn't be happier. Well, but boy, it's going to be a warm day today. We're, we're eh? fine for meow. That's a great sunshine out there. Take that story and put it here in our file. Yeah, right there. there. <laughs> well, I see it's almost 9 o'clock. No! Yes, yeah, saved by the by the news. No. Gord Logan is uh, standing by. <laughs> You're on holiday next Did week. Did I mention, by the way, the baby was at one point was stolen? No. Yeah, he was catnipped. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm out of here next week. Yes, sir. And uh, you have a wonderful week. You too. Enjoy yourself. You I'll be too. back in about a week or Bring so. Bring me back something. I sure you? will. I sure will. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you're going to be back at 10 o'clock anyway. Certainly. And I'll be here from 9 to 10, so I'm not leaving yet. Gord's got the news, though. That's coming up next here on CFQR. It's 23 degrees in downtown Montreal. Sunny today. Light southwesterly winds. A high near 30. Good morning, everyone. The Champlain Bridge was blocked for a time this morning by angry South Shore residents, most of them from the Chateauguay area, upset with the more than three-week-old Mercier blockade. About 200 motors formed a convoy at about 5, 5.30 this morning and jammed the 132 and 50. Hey, 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 hey. Zodiac Plus.
L'émission 5 étoiles, pour tout savoir sur votre signe, avec Anne-Marie Chalifour.